what is going on guys and welcome back to just one more thing for you had an awesome work day it was over 90 degrees today the family and I went swimming as soon as I got home and now with the Sun in my eyes I have work to do So as you see, I have already began on getting my wood together. A lot of nails, a lot of pulling. So today's video is going to be about building raised garden beds. We have a few different types we're going to be doing. We're going to be doing three foot by three foot beds, and we're going to be doing three foot by six foot beds as well. We may switch that up a little bit as we get going. But we're going to have to decide what kind of layout we want in the new garden. Now last year my wife and I went ahead and did all our gardening in the dirt and it worked out fantastic. However, upon further research, we have discovered that raised beds are absolutely the best way to go. Now that may not be true for some of your crops like corn, uh, even beans and stuff like that. Will work pretty well outside of the garden beds but anything like jalapenos and tomatoes and bell peppers and so forth, lettuce, anything like that, potatoes, carrots, I mean, you name it. Loose, good quality soil is gonna be a key factor in all your gardening. Now, when it comes to a raised bed, you can almost always guarantee that you are going to have the best quality soil you possibly can. Now when you're doing all your gardening in the dirt, you run into compressing all your soil down as you're walking in between the rows and so forth. De-weeding those areas can somewhat be a nightmare. Over time you may have to take your tiller in between the rows, a weed whacker, or you may have to get on your hands and knees and do all your weeding yourself. So I always recommend doing a raised garden bed. So let's go ahead and get the rest of these pallets torn apart and we're gonna get going on building our raised garden bed. Now, I know that looked easy. I may be strong, but uh, let's not kid ourselves. Some of these are really loose on here, and others are really on there good. All right, we've got everything split up and I gotta tell you, the age old story, it's always the last bolt that gets stuck. Same thing with these. I fought and I fought the last pallet. So unfortunately, I broke a little sweat, but uh, there we go. So it's getting a little bit late tonight, so I'm gonna call it, it's been a long day, but tomorrow we're gonna go ahead and pick up a truckload of nice, fresh black dirt. Uh, we'll have some compost to put in. All of that will be mixed up. We will get our boxes built in our garden area and we are ready to no, plant. Like so it looks like we're going to have a little bit of sunshine today. So I'm excited because I get to finish my garden boxes today. Now what we're going to need for these, these are about the only pieces I bought are some two by two posts. These are going to go in the corners of my garden boxes. I also have some 1x4s as well, and I'm going to be using that to connect two of my outside pieces together. So I'm going to get these cut down to about 20 inches. I'm going to cut some uh, tips into them because these are actually going to be turned into stakes so I can drive it in the ground to ensure my boxes are nice and level.
so we have our first box made. We're gonna make two more of those. We'll make two four by four as well, and then we'll do a sing two single layers. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep going on that, and when we're ready to level these in the ground, I'll get back with you. Okay, so what we have here is a little bit of a change to the layout I planned on doing with our garden boxes today. Um, unfortunately, some of the wood, albeit it was free, which is awesome, uh, some of it was rotted out, I was unable to use. So what I've done was I changed up the layout a little bit uh, behind me. I did some L-shaped boxes. Um, instead of separating them, I put uh, a couple of them together uh, just, just so we can have about the same amount of area. I will be doing a few more raised boxes as well. I just don't think I will have my longer lower boxes. So we'll see what happens. I'll keep going through the wood. Some of the wood I thought was good wasn't, but that's okay. Once again, free is always better and we can expand later. Got, nope, camera turn. We got the uh, first set of boxes done here. Now we're just waiting on our truckload of dirt and then I've got compost we're gonna fill them up and then hopefully this Saturday get uh, first round of planting done. So stay tuned for that. Ooh. 